Let's take a look at percents of numbers. 10% of the tickets sold at a water park were child tickets. If the park sold 40 tickets in all, how many child tickets did it sell? Okay, so another way to look at this question, if 10% of the tickets were children's tickets and there's a total of 40, to figure out how many children's tickets, we want to know what is 10% of 40? Now we have seen this previously that we can set up our percent proportion to help us answer a question like this. What is 10% of 40? Remember our percent proportion tells us is over of, which is another way to think of the part out of the whole thing, right? The number that is the percent would be the part of is always the total. So this is the part out of the whole and that would be equal to the percent out of 100, right? Percent always means out of 100. So if I set this up for this problem, let's see. We want to know what is the 10%. So that would be our variable, right? We're trying to figure out how many children's tickets were sold out of a total of 40 tickets. And we know that children's tickets were 10%, so that would be 10 out of 100. Okay, and then we're going to cross multiply to solve for x. If I cross multiply here, 100 times x gives me 100x. And if I cross multiply on this side, 40 times 10 gives me 400. To solve for x, x is being multiplied by 100, so my opposite or inverse is to divide by 100. And 400 divided by 100 is 4. So that means 4 out of those 40 tickets were children's tickets. Abigail runs a 90 mile race. After an hour, she has run 30% of the race. How far did Abigail run in an hour? Okay, well in the hour she ran 30% of the total. So what we want to know is what is 30% of the total miles, and the total miles was 90. So what is 30% of 90? Okay, and just like before, I can use my percent proportion to figure this out. Remember the part out of the whole, which is the is out of the of, if you have it worded like this, is equal to the percent and percent is always out of 100. So we can say percent out of 100. Okay, so we don't know how far she ran in the hour, right? That's our part or the is. So that's gonna be our variable. We do know the of or the whole thing is 90 miles. And we know that she ran 30% of the race, which is 30 out of 100. Okay, when we cross multiply, x times 100 gives us 100x. And when you're multiplying numbers that end in a zero, the easiest way to think about this when we multiply 30 times 90 is to say, well, 3 times 9 is 27. And then just add the zeros. There were two zeros, right? One on the 30 and one on the 90. So I'm going to put two zeros on my answer. So that gives me 2,700. To solve for x, since it's being multiplied by 100, my opposite or inverse would be to divide by 100. Okay, and when I divide by 100 on both sides, that's gonna leave me with 27. Now remember, since 100 has two zeros, that's gonna take away two zeros out of my answer, right? So that makes that a little easier mental math if you remember the place value. Okay, so that means in the first hour, Abigail ran 27 miles of her 90 mile race.
While working on homework, Benjamin opens a package of paper. If the package contains 50 pieces of paper and Benjamin uses 90% of the package, how many pieces of paper did Benjamin use? Okay, well, he, we know he used 90% of a package that had a total of 50 pieces of paper. So if we want to know how many pieces he used, we want to know what is 90% of our total amount or of 50 pieces of paper. Okay, and again, writing it this way just gives us a little hint about our setup if we want to use our percent proportion and think of it as is over of is equal to the percent out of 100. Okay, remember is over of just means the part out of the whole, but when it's worded this way, is is always the part and of is goes with the total, right? Of 50 means the whole thing was 50 pieces. Okay, so when we set it up, we want to know the part that he used out of a whole or a total of 50 was 90, so that's going to be 90 and percents always out of 100. Okay, let's cross multiply here. X times 100 gives us 100X. 90 times 50. Well, again, to make your mental math easy, think 9 times 5. Well, 9 times 5 is 45. And then there were two zeros, right? One on the 90, one on the 50. So that means we're going to have two zeros on our answer. So 4,500. Okay, to solve for x, if x is being multiplied by 100, my opposite or inverse is to divide by 100. Okay, so here multiply and divide by the same number, cancel out and leave us with x. And here, let's think about our place value to make this easy mental math. When I divide by 100, that has two zeros, it's gonna take two zeros out of our answer, right? 45 divided by one would be 45, and those zeros would cancel out. So he used 45 out of his 100 pieces of paper. Landon buys some of his clothes secondhand. If 40% of his shirts are secondhand, and he owns 65 shirts, how many of Landon's shirts are secondhand? Okay, well in this case, we want to know what is 40% of the total amount or of 65? Okay, and just like we saw in the last few problems, we can use our percent proportion is over of or the part out of the whole thing is equal to the percent out of 100. All right, well, we don't know what the part is. That's what we're trying to figure out, how many shirts are secondhand out of a total of 65. We do know that it's 40%, so that would be equal to 40 out of 100. Okay, and then when we cross multiply, x times 100 gives us 100x. 65 times 40, that's going to give us 2,600. And then to solve for x, I'm going to divide by 100 on both sides. Here it crosses out or cancels out and leaves us with x. And on the right side, 2,600 divided by 100 is 26. And it is always nice to double check and make sure that your answer makes sense. If you had 65 shirts and 40% of them are secondhand, that means a little less than half of those shirts are secondhand. Well, 26 is a little less than half of 65. So that seems like a reasonable answer.